Yellowstone volcano experts at the U.S. Geological Survey USGS, have warned that the state of Idaho is very likely to experience several earthquakes and eruptions before Yellowstone does. Seismic activity has increased in central Idaho in the past 20 months, sparking fears of something sinister in neighboring Yellowstone National Park. According to the USGS, Idaho has been rocked by a series of aftershocks after a 6.5 magnitude quake struck near Stanley in late March last year. As of Monday, USGS experts had recorded more than 4,300 aftershocks, which the agency said have alarmed some. The USGS writes in its weekly Caldera Chronicles column, a common question seen after many earthquakes in the western U.S. is, will this earthquake trigger an eruption at Yellowstone, or is this earthquake related to Yellowstone? While Yellowstone is mostly located in the northwest corner of Wyoming, some of the national park extends to Montana and Idaho. And Yellowstone Park, of course, is home to the caldera of the Yellowstone volcano, a superactive volcano that many fear will erupt. The geological record shows Yellowstone's most recent period of activity lava flows occurred around 70,000 years ago. And the three largest volcanic eruptions occurred around 640,000, 1.3 million and 2.1 million years ago. Although the USGS has assured this is not the case, the cycle of eruptions has led many to believe Yellowstone erupted like clockwork and that we are too late for another explosion. But even if Yellowstone isn't too late and isn't expected to erupt anytime soon, could the seismicity of Idaho 155 miles away impact the volcano's likelihood of erupting? According to the USGS, the simple answer is no. The agency said, aftershocks are a normal and predictable phenomenon after tectonic earthquakes which are caused when the Earth's crust moves past itself along faults called faults. These movements usually occur very quickly because the stored tectonic forces are released. The energy generated by the movement the fault is converted into seismic waves that radiate outward from the fault. Geologists estimate the fault ruptured at length some 10 to 100 kilometers at a time. The outbreak of the Stanley earthquake on March 31st was measured at a length of about 12 miles, 20 kilometers. This particular fault is part of the Basin and Range Province, which the USGS says is unrelated directly with the magmatic system beneath Yellowstone. The group added, whether all this seismic activity in central Idaho affects the Yellowstone volcanic field, not significantly. Large, distant earthquakes can cause changes to Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs as the shocks break the fragile subsurface hot water pipeline system.